so in this lecture we will see few more element required in plant maintenance module mainly the element called plant section and location if you can recall we have draw this structure of a plant where we said that this particular area slitting shaping one shaping to welding cutting packing all this shall be created as a location however the group of this or individual like here the slitting is an individual however shaping one and shaping two is a group of two location we can create as a plant section so now we'll go to the config part for this plant section planner group comes under the technical object so the menu path is under the plant maintenance here we have a master data in plant maintenance and customer services then technical object then we'll go to the general data so apart from plant maintenance plant section areas we will also see few more things here like type of technical objects plant section planner group here we have all that so we'll first of all we'll go and see the defined type of technical objects so see the different type of machinery can be considered as a type of technical object like in in any industry you can have a you'll have a pump you'll have a motors you will have a compressor you will also have a, some air compressor carbon co2 compressor you can have a, some plc you can have some mccs so all these type of different objects can be created as a technical object here so that it will help us in bifurcation it will help also us in uh, at in at the time of equipment master creation so here this is a list of technical object now it is not compulsory to create your own technical object for each and every plant this is not a plant dependent so you can create your own technical object so you can use existing one like if you can see here mobile equipment motor loader mobile cranes portable generator shovel drill machine these are the technical objects available if you want to create other technical objects you can create your own object let's say i'm giving my own number is so i'm creating t001 and i'm giving name as a pump that's it then comes the plant section part define plant section as we have decided in our excel file we can define plant into different sections so plant section is a plant dependent one right when i say plant dependent it means it can be created based on a plant which you have defined so our plant is pm01 so pm01 is our plant in these are a section section 1 section 2 section 3 section 4 So I'm putting in this way. Hundred. In place of one, two, three, four, I'm putting hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. Right, and these are. now for this particular plant section you can define a person responsible oh this is already available no worry let's go back and check what what we have here because we have copied so definitely there will be some plant sections available okay this 100 101 2 all these are available no issue we'll do one thing we'll delete all this plant section we'll create according to according to our requirement to so pm01 i am putting 100 similar way 
200, 300, 400. Now he, you, here you can define the name of a person responsible. So let's say Mr. David. John. We can also enter their phone number if you need. So this plot section, section and technical object will be a part of your equipment master. When we create equipment master, you will see that we'll need, we need this plant section on that. Now next one is a defined planner group. See, planner group is a person responsible for planning. And where we'll do the planning? We'll do the planning in Mentor's planning plot. So again, I'm searching if something is available or not. See here, these many planners are available because you have copied, that's why. So see, PM100, this is a Wabner, right? Then 01020304. So these are a planner group. In a simple way, what you can do, these are a person. Suppose you don't want to keep any person name. So what you can do, you can define this planner group in different way also. Let's say I'm putting this planner group as in this way. PM01 is my planning plant. Y01, this is my Mechanical planner, mechanical planning department, PM01, Y02, which is my electrical, PM01, Y03, it is my instrumentation. Then I can define civil as a one planner group. I can also define or we must uh, include safety department in it. So safety. Okay, so you understand that. One way you can use planner as a person responsible. It doesn't mean that you have to give a person name. You can give an individual department also. After that, define ABC indicator. See, at the time of uh, uh, equipment master creation, when we talk generally, when we talk about the, any equipment uh, in our organization, so. Some equipments are very critical for production purpose. However, some equipments are not that much critical if they go off. So either you have a, some standby, so you'll uh, run by, run your production by standby, okay, or some alternate. But some equipments are very critical in nature. Like without them, you cannot run your production, right? So that criticality of equipment can be defined with the help of ABC indicator. Like here you can see, A means production loss involved. It means if I assign A indicator to a particular equipment and that equipment gets stopped either uh, due to breakdown or preventive, then there will be effect on production. There will be production loss. Then B, reduced production loss and C, no effect on production. Right. So generally, we'll have an A, B, C, three criteria. But if you want further, then you can add as per your wish list. Like here, another uh, example is that the you can see the indicator five. It means environment risk. It means this particular equipment is affected. 
mainly in chemical industry those are very <coughs> environment uh, risky industry so you can categorize this type of uh, uh, abc indicator also where you can define environment risk no effect and all that right so this will be again a part of your equipment master then authorization group is nothing it is simply to control the authorization uh, uh, Of a particular user ID for this authorization, I mean it is better if we uh, ask our basis team or uh, basis support consultant to provide us the authorization guidelines. So these are apart here. Apart from that, here another important thing is set view profile for technical objects. Now see, whenever you find a word profile in SAP, it simply means that there are in profile there are so many different combinations or validations are available if you create a group of uh, different validations different screen controls and you want to implement all this validations screen control as a group or you want to assign them as a group then in that case we create a one profile so simply a profile is a kind of group of different setup right here see profile is not here you can see here we have a screen profile of label for it cupid this is related to layout the tab in equipment master we have a different tab general organization data structured data additional data so this is a can be controlled you can have a different tab based on your type profile assigned icon and text views like what type of icons you want so this is not uh, that much uh, uh, i want to say this is not that much important but this is somehow which is not very important in the beginning and it is a, because it is a one time setup only generally people go with the standard template of sap where the uh, sap has already provided the equipment master template as per the industry practices so you will rarely find uh, really need to do some tweaking in this profile so these are a technical object requirement for our master data setup then 